Hello everyone, Seth Hawkins, Community Forester with the Georgia Forestry Commission here. Welcome to another episode of our Ask the Arborist Tree Care video series. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about root and soil disturbance and how to map out our root systems of our trees in our backyard so we make sure we don't impact those root systems too heavily. So when we're talking about our tree's root systems, it's super important to understand that the tree's roots are the most important part of the tree. Everything on the tree is predicated on having a healthy root system. So it's really important for us to understand where our critical root zone is and how deep our roots are when we're doing any kind of soil disturbing activity, putting any impervious surface in, just anything that's going to impact that root system. So when we talk about our critical root zone, which is the most crucial part of the root zone that the tree needs to be undisturbed and healthy in order for the tree to thrive. So you can see in the tree behind me, roots really are pretty shallow up in the ground. Um, really, especially in heavier soils, our roots are in the top about 12 or 18 inches of soil. So not very deep. So that makes them really susceptible to any kind of soil disturbance. And so when we're having to look at disturbing soil around our trees, it's important to understand how far out they go. So when we talk about that critical root zone, we have to measure the diameter and figure out the radius of that critical root zone so we know how far out our roots go and where we can get away with some soil disturbance. So usually you take that diameter measurement at four and a half feet off the ground, which is called DBH or diameter at breast height, which is a forester and arborist term. In the case of this tree, there were some branches that came out at four and a half feet. So in that case, you take your diameter measurement at the most narrow spot below that trunk split or that change in the trunk diameter. So once you take your diameter measurement, in this case, it was eight inches on this tree. You take that eight inches, multiply it by a factor of 1.3, and that will give you the radius in feet of your critical root zone. So for that tree, it ended up being about 10 and a half feet in all directions is our critical root zone. So the rule of thumb with root and soil disturbance is you do not want to impact any more than 25 or 30% of that critical root zone. You can get away with some soil disturbance inside the critical root zone, but that 25 to 30% threshold is the top end threshold when you can expect the tree to start to decline if we impact more than that. So as you can see with this tree, there was some recent road widening and pavement installation here. And you can see that a lot more than 30% of the critical root zone of this tree got impacted. So we'll need to keep a close eye on this tree in the coming years, just to look out for any signs of decline that might come from that root loss and root damage. And one other thing I'd like to mention when we're talking about root protection and soil disturbance is soil compaction. So soil compaction can be as detrimental to a root system as tearing and ripping roots can be. So soil can be compacted by things like vehicular or foot traffic, even the pounding energy of raindrops on unprotected soil can recompact soil. So it's important for us to do things like limiting vehicular and foot traffic or coordinating that traffic to always follow one single line across the tree root zone. So we're only compacting that one piece of dirt. Also having good established mulch beds will help alleviate and prevent further soil compaction. So that's all we have today on root and soil disturbance. For more information on this topic and many other tree care topics, please go to our website, gatrees.org. You'll find a lot of resources there to help you understand how to better care for the trees in your backyard. We also invite you to visit our Ask the Arborist webpage where you can submit tree questions and pictures and our team of arborists will help get you on the right path with your tree care. So thanks for watching today and we'll see you in the next episode.